Hey guys, CBP Man with Tablets for Me. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the features that you'll find uh, in the Gear Manager and some of the features that apply specifically uh, to the Galaxy Gear S that was released today. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the, the styler, the uh, screen styler. And the screen styler is really going to affect the color of the background, first of all, that you have as you're navigating and going through the menus, which you can modify to any of these colors. Um, so just simply selecting any of these would change the color. I'm not going to change the color. I like black for, for all the backgrounds. So if I go in here, I'll show you what I mean. You see how this has a black background? Uh, if I were to change any of these colors, it would affect um, how that screen looks. Uh, the background at least. So let's focus on the clocks because that's um, what interests most folks. So um, you have a series of clocks that become um, prevalent in, in the actual gear S that you can just choose from. Uh, you have, as soon as you choose a a, a face, the, the watch is going to update automatically. I find that this is kind of one of the more elegant uh, styles that are out there. Um, and all you literally have to do is just choose the watch face that you will like and the watch will change. So as you can see, here's um, one of the watch faces that just uh, just got updated. You could choose also uh, some more, I would say, analog um, or in this case, digital uh, type watch faces. And because the screen is so large, you can actually get um, a lot of detail here. So here you're seeing that the weather, you're seeing uh, location as well as the number of steps and if I had any events. Or you can have a you know, a full just uh, clock, a digital clock in, in, the, uh, in the middle of the screen. So there are several different um, faces that you can choose from, and you could download more clocks. And I'm sure that there's going to be um, third-party um, faces that you can add to this to, to make the watch even more interesting. I'm going to go back to the first one to just show you a couple features that you see when working with the home screen. First of all, if I go into um, this clock and I go into settings, uh, there's a couple things I can do. Uh, there are a couple areas in the dial that can be modified. The top in this case that you see right there happens to be uh, the weather, the um, the battery status, and the bottom happens to be the weather. Let me uh, bring this a little bit closer so you guys can see that. So if you look at this face here, let's see if we can get this in focus. Uh, the top portion is the again battery status, and the bottom is the weather. Well, what you could do is you can actually change uh, the sections of your of your uh, of your watch to show different features. So I can change it from being a battery status to a dual clock to notifications or weather. And what the notification is going to do is going to show you how many notifications um, you have not responded to and then the weather is going to actually show the weather. Right now I have it set up where battery status and weather appears on the bottom as you can see it, uh, there. Uh, if I were to look at the watch you'll see it right here Make sure that's in focus. You see how the weather appears in the bottom and the battery status appears on the top? That's what I'm talking about, that you can actually uh, you can actually configure that. Some of the faces that we have here um, can be altered too. So if I were to choose, let's say, this style face, and you'll see my watch will update to show it, you'll notice that I have here the date, the weather. Here I have the battery status, right? And over here I have steps. So this face actually has, it looks like multiple areas that I can um, alter. So here I have my pedometer, right? And what I can do is I can change it from pedometer as it is right now. You see how it's uh, the steps up there on the top. I can change it to notifications. And once I change it to notifications, you'll notice how it changed to zero. I have no notifications present. Or I can change it back uh, to battery status. Um, and we'll go ahead and choose that. Nope, I actually have that on the bottom. So what we're going to do is change notifications back to pedometer. And you'll notice how it changes on the top now uh, to, to the actual steps itself. So in addition to being able to modify or choose different clock faces, you could also experiment and configure them to display different things. So that was the first tip uh, for your Samsung Galaxy Gear S.